Good morning and welcome to the garden. So I am out here today to plant a few more cucumbers, a little bit of basil, and I thought I would take you with me. It's a really beautiful day. Um, the sun is just coming up here, kind of coming over the edge of the fence. We got some really lovely temperatures this week. I got a little nervous over the past weekend because we got a little cold. We had one night, it was like 37. That made me a little nervous because you know, I've got all my tomatoes and everything planted out. But it looks like everything survived just fine. And now we're gonna plant some cucumbers. So I have talked about some of these, but I will share with you the ones that I am planting and then we'll get them popped into the beds. Should be pretty easy. Um, so the first place that I'm gonna be planting cucumbers is over in this bed right here. And it's where I already put in um, the started cucumbers that I had, but I thought I would just add kind of like a succession. Um, I would just add another, you know, couple seeds. Um, so we kind of just stagger the planting a little bit and can kind of compare and contrast as well. And then I'm also going to put in my squash. So that's really exciting. That's definitely a sign of spring and I'll show you all of that. So let me get over there and get the camera set up. Frustrating. It looks like a squirrel got into this bed and luckily I didn't have anything really planted in here, but they did get over here. I had planted that Sunfinity um, sunflower and I think they took the sunflower seedling. So bummed. Ugh. But luckily I have a few more of those started in the, um, in the greenhouse. So I will replant those and seems like the millet survived and the cosmos. And so these are the cucumbers that I have in here right now. These are salad bush cucumbers. Um, this is the, let me see, I have two kinds here. This is the salad bush cucumber. So I'm going to do one more of these. And then I'm also going to try this salad more bush just to see, compare and contrast. I don't really remember the specifications on this one, but this is a really nice, like shorter vines, maybe three to four foot vines. Very, very prolific. I have had struggles with cucumbers, um, but if you've been around here, you know that this is the only one that I've been able to consistently get cucumbers off of. So this is what I'm going to try. And I'm just going to pop um, one or two in this corner. I got to get some stakes in here though and shore up this garden bed. I'm just going to pop some stakes in for right now and see if I can kind of push this uh, closer issues. And there, see these squirrels. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I need to, I need to get out here. Oh, and they dug up some of my seedlings too. Ugh. Hopefully they didn't get all of the sunflower seeds. Maybe it looks like they got one little corner here. I'm gonna put down some of my kind of repellents and stuff as well. Just gotta stay on top of it this time of year. They're almost, we're almost past the time of year where the squirrels are really bad. They do kind of stop bugging the garden after a certain point, but there's still a little while longer where they're gonna bug things and that's just, it's just a constant process. Them and the slugs are just always, we're always battling. All right, this is my quick fix. This is not gonna hold up all season, but. Until I can get a better plan in place. Okay, salad bush. So then I also, while I was over there, I also planted some sunburst patty pan squash. I love this squash. I've talked about it a lot. It's a, whoops. <laughs> it's a really beautiful um, patty pan squash. It's got like these bursts of, of yellow, like a yellow kind of circle at the end and then all these like flecks of green and it's just really pretty and got a really rich 
nutty, full flavor. Very delicious. Um, and then I also put in some purple ruffles, basil just in the front, just like a kind of a little clump of basil. Um, kind of just trying to grow things in clumps so that they really stand out. We really see them um, and can really enjoy them. So that's that's what we've got in there right now. Um, and then I, the last cucumber that I'm going to do is a full-size cucumber. This is called a diva cucumber. It's another self-pollinating cucumber, so you don't need to have even pollinators. This is the one, diva. You don't need to have pollinators in order for the cucumber to produce cucumbers, which is really nice, although I do have plenty of pollinators, but kind of just an added assurance. And it's going to go on this trellis right here because it's a full-size cucumber plant. It's going to get nice and tall, and hopefully we can just train it up that trellis and get some nice big cucumbers off it. At least that's the plan. I believe, I can't remember exactly um, what it, these cucumbers were like. I think they're just kind of a classic looking cucumber. I don't think they're anything fancy as far as um, shape or anything. Um, same with the salad bush cucumbers. They're just kind of like a regular like six to eight inch cucumber, but just super prolific, really fast growing and um, really like easy to grow, I guess, at least for me. But you know, it's always different in, in different gardens. Some people will say, oh, this is easy, you know, it's super easy for me, and then it just doesn't grow well for you, and that's kind of how it goes too. But let's go put these salad bush cucumbers in. I did cover the, um, I did cover the squash seeds with this little cloach to help keep the squirrels from bugging that, and that should work. So I'm just gonna stick a few Let's see, there's not a ton of room in this bag because I've got a lot of perennials, but ooh, this is way too many. We'll just take a couple of these seeds in here and hopefully some of them will grow up. Oh, those all spilled, so whatever. We'll leave them there. Okay, and now I'm going to water all of this in. Originally, I was thinking I would grow like tomatoes or something up this trellis as well, but that just seems like too many things on one trellis. I have plenty of tomatoes in other places and I want to make sure I really get a good cucumber harvest. So I am going to follow a little bit of spacing, although I did just throw in a ton of seeds there, but I'm going to follow a little bit of spacing, hopefully. And um, let me turn on the water here. We'll water everything. And we'll get those cucumbers growing. I may have to uh, thin out those a little bit because that was kind of a lot. We are having a very dry uh, few weeks here. Usually we get a lot of rain in the spring, but looking at our 10 day forecast, we really don't have any rain right now. So I'm gonna have to be super diligent about getting out here and watering these seedlings. I also think that's kind of why the squirrels got into the garden beds. The squirrels, this, my, this is sort of my experience, but uh, I find that the squirrels don't like, they don't seem to like the wet soil quite as much. So that helps for seed starting. Um, they don't tend to dig in the wet soil the same way. I guess maybe if they can find a dry spot to dig, they'd rather do that. So sometimes I think if I stay on top of watering, it helps a little bit, but I am going to put down some slug bait to protect these seedlings. And then I'm also going to put down um, some repellent for the squirrels as well, just to help a little bit. They don't all seem to mind the repellent. It doesn't always work, but at least I feel like it helps a little bit. So just water everything. It is going to be hot today, so I do have to keep on top of watering. As you can see, the violas are starting to fade now. So this is probably my last week with violas. And then I am going to have to switch out these containers uh, for something else. In the big pots, they're starting to fade too. They're just, yeah, they're hitting the end of their season. So we'll have to get those switched out. I'm gonna put some of my snack peppers in these containers. I have lots of fun plans for that. All right, let's water in the seeds I just planted. There's drip in this bed, but I wanna make sure that the seedlings get really watered in. So I usually go back over with the hose too, just to make sure everything's getting the water in. All right, well, <laughs> got dirt on my forehead. I've got all the plants watered in, all those seeds planted so hopefully they are all going to be able to get up and get going before any squirrels get to them i will keep you posted on the guarded progress and as always thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you in the next video bye bye